Alright guys, so we're going to be testing out the Samsung Galaxy S8 Face Unlock. So we're in a relatively shady spot here, and we're just going to do it at a distance of roughly about 30 centimeters. And we're just going to see how fast it unlocks, or if it unlocks at all. So, one, two, three. There you go. So, it's pretty instant, guys. So, it's no problem at all in the shade right here. Now, we're going to jump over to the iPhone. Alright, so we're in pretty much the exact same area with the same shade, and we're just going to launch up the iPhone and see if it picks my face. Same roughly about 30 centimeters away as well. We just click on the screen and it unlocks without an issue. So for this test, both devices perform very well. Alright, and for the next one here, we're in direct sunlight. So the sun is shining directly into the camera and the true depth camera. We're going to see the same test here and see if the iPhone 10 here can actually unlock the device. So all we have to do is just tap onto the screen. And no problem at all, at all, once again, it unlocks without an issue. Now we'll jump over to the Samsung Galaxy S8, and we'll see how well the face unlock handles. Alright, so same place, same scenario, same situation here. We're just going to turn on the Samsung S8, and we'll see if it unlocks. And it doesn't seem like it does. In direct sunlight, with the light beaming into the camera and all the IR up there, it doesn't seem like the Samsung is picking up at all. We'll try it one more time here. And no, nothing. So... The face unlock on the Samsung Galaxy S8 does not work because it uses the camera system to actually unlock your face. So that's one limitation of this device. All right, and moving over to the next one, we're going to start with the S8 as well. We're going to walk at a pretty normal pace here, and all we have to do is just tap on the, the display and see if the S8 picks up our face once again. So no problem there at all. The Samsung S8 just unlocked pretty instant once again. We'll switch over to the iPhone and see how well that one does. We're pretty much walking at a pace of around like one to two kilometers per hour, and we're going to launch it up, and this should work very well because of how Apple has used the true depth camera instead of just the camera system but one two three and it unlocks no problem all right and for the next one here we're gonna be running and we're gonna see how well it does the iPhone 10 right here one two three and it doesn't seem like it wants to unlock so let's keep running and try one more time maybe the camera was just obstructing the view but let's go and there you go it unlocks we'll try that one more time just to make sure that it wasn't a fluke we'll turn back this way and run Okay, it actually takes a couple of tries, so it's kind of weird that it works and it doesn't work, but in the end, it does unlock the device 2-3. We're going to start running, and we'll turn on the device, and it does unlock. Wow, it does it relatively quick, so maybe the S8's face recognition or the face unlock is actually better, but we'll try it one more time. Start running, and it unlocks. There you go. It's not as quick as if you were standing still or just walking at a normal pace, but it does work nonetheless. So very nice that both devices can unlock under these circumstances. All right. So what we're going to do is just start turning it on and we're going to shake the device and see if it actually picks up my face. Now, ready? There you go. The iPhone picks up the face even while it's shaking the device. We'll do it one more time on camera here. Unlocks once again. Very nice. Switch over to the S8. Alright, now the S8's turn will shake as well as soon as we turn on the display. So no, no luck there. It doesn't seem like the S8 can actually pick up fast enough with the camera. It's probably all blurry right now, but anyways, this is no good for the S8. So there are some limitations if you are using just the camera alone. So as soon as I stop shaking, it should unlock right here. There you go. It did take a little while to recalibrate, but did let us in it wouldn't let us in when we're shaking so if you guys were running at super quick speed or running away from some animal a bear most likely your phone is not going to be unlocking you're probably going to have to use the fingerprint sensor there to get into the device all right and for the last one here we're going to do a relatively easy one we're just going to leave it down as we usually would underneath the table possibly hiding from your teacher or from your boss and we're going to look at the device and see if it can unlock at this range of a distance so let's go one two three so it doesn't seem like the S8 has picked up my face at all. Let's try it one more time. All right, so from this distance, looking down from the table, it doesn't seem like the device is going to be unlocking. So I actually have to do it at a weird angle or put my face maybe closer a little bit and would most likely unlock. So there you go. Let's try it one more time with the S8 so we'll make sure it's not just a fluke that the phone is probably not going to work. 
All right, and we're gonna give it just one more chance here to see if the S8 actually picks it up and unlocks the device. So it seems like the camera of the S8 is gonna be beaming the focus somewhere away from my face. So even though I bend my face down, it's probably not gonna be working. So in this case scenario, the Samsung Galaxy S8 is not gonna work. Now we're gonna switch over to the iPhone 10 here and we'll see if the true depth camera is gonna be working in this case. All right, and now it's the iPhone 10's turn. We're gonna do the exact same thing here. We'll leave it underneath the desk and we'll see if we can hide from our bosses. So three, two, one. All right, so it does unlock there. Very nice. Now we're going to try a couple more times here to make sure it isn't a fluke. So three, two, one. It does take a little bit longer time to get used to, and the device is not recognizing my face as fast as it normally does, but it does work in this case. Do it one last time here. So we'll put it at a further distance even. And it only comes in a certain point, so it doesn't work that far away, but anything closer, so anything relatively along the length of your arm can actually work with the iPhone 10. However, the Samsung Galaxy S8 wouldn't work. You have to bring it a lot closer and probably around this length right here, just right in front of your face. But there you guys go, the Samsung Galaxy S8 versus the iPhone 10, Face ID versus face unlock now this is not the iris scanner on the s8 if you guys were wondering this is just the face unlock feature so if you guys don't already know the samsung galaxy s8 and note 8 has had some hate lately with the iris scanner so it's causing some nausea some dizziness and a bunch of other things so samsung has recently just given out a statement you can as can check it out in the about screen of the iris scanner it tells you that it does affect a baby's eye and youth and whatnot there's a bunch of things going on with the iris scanner with that led right up top there so just keep a lookout for that one guys and i will leave it on the screen right here so you guys can check it out but yeah this should be it for the two comparison guys